Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Crusader Kings 3. Uh, we received a call to war. Um, it's about uh, something in Central Europe. And I think we will accept. Because I think we might have to start defending our interests here. I mean, this war is not strictly in our interest but yeah actually maybe we shouldn't have done that well anyway we've heeded the call to arms and I think we will raise local armies at least not much that's for sure actually that will not be enough I guess but if we raise everything it will be so expensive but yeah I guess that's how it goes okay this is a new mechanic in this game so you can set the rally points and raise the people wherever you need them. And they are traveling very fast. So in Crusader Kings 2, you had the problem in, in the late game, if you had a huge empire, you had a problem because it took a year or more to get your troops from one end to the other end. Which is realistic, of course, but does not make for a nice game experience. Okay, I think we will just siege the capital. Yeah, they are, they are doing fine. We will come say hello and then siege the capital. Okay. Empty council position, uh, we need a new spy master. Yeah, what about... Mm, she doesn't really like us that much. Yeah, we will put her in the spot. A sensual proposal? I think... Um, he might be lonely. Sure. But we are sellers. Mm. Well, I guess uh, we will say sweet, but no. We don't need any more children anyway. We can ransom a lot of prisoners. Oh my god. Fort level is too high. At better siege men at arms. Hmm, what do we have? We have Onagas. Oh, we can just spend 70 gold at this point. What's the war goal? Ansbach. Did we siege that? Yes, we did. Well done. Let's see what we get from 
sieging the capital. Wilhelm Eden Pitten. Oh ja. Injured vessel. Sorry about that. I guess our job is done here. We will disband. We cannot disband. Why not? Victory! So be it. Now we can disband. All right, come on. Okay, now they want to be ransomed. I can understand that. Let's just... Uh, cannot mass ransom. Ransom the child. They are considering... Oh, oh, I captured a lot of them, okay. Cannot afford anymore. Too bad. What about him? They're all from the same family. Six years, terrible. Okay, we need a new counselor, spy master again. Hmm. Our player air, yeah. Ransom, 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 ransom. You can change his contract, yeah, but he already pays high taxes. There's a romance <laughs> with a giant lady. Abandon this foolish endeavor. Actually, maybe build a city or two. In our domain. Because they will pay good taxes once they are developed. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. Keep constructing keeps. Very well. Mm. Basically, I'm. Oh, 
another ransom, yes. Um, basically, I'm waiting for this ruler to pass away. He did well. Child of my dynasty, okay. We will get the overseer trade for a bit. Get another cadet branch. Sway compliments. Excellent. What's going on here? Another ransom, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, and we have almost integrated another duchy into our kingdom title. Let's ransom some prisoners. He paid a lot of money getting all his family back. And we finished the integrate part, uh, task. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah, it happened again. It happened again, didn't it? They didn't revoke and now this is back under their control. I you got... No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Ah, that's because I was at the do you remember mode, I guess. Wow. Yeah, I almost got mad back there. we we'll complete in eight years. Yeah, let's please complete this in eight years. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe we can change the succession. No, we, no, we can't, no. Why is he hated so much high taxes? Because he's a deviant and sell us no we are sellers and he is cynical catholicism is hostile oh my oh. this adamites adamites are really something you gotta be kidding me they are starting uh, Nudist commune over there. Another child of my dynasty. It does not seem like we can get any more done. Maybe we should just... Uh, you can try to commit suicide in this game, but it's bad for the reputation of your family, so we will not do that. We can ransom another guy. Great. <laughs> Let's build a city in the swamp. Why not? Right? Right. Curse undone. We are losing counselors left and right. If we really want to get this change in, I think we should maybe. Try it like this. Sway this guy. Mm, change. Oh, everyone approves. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Okay. Oh my god. Okay. 
So, under Confederate petition, your titles will be divided equally between your children. New titles may be created for younger realm heirs. And that right there is the issue. New titles may be created. That's why we can't conquer all of Wales. Because upon succession, the Kingdom of Wales will be created, which will be a title of equal rank to our main title, Kingdom of England, which will mean the Kingdom of Wales will instantly separate as an independent kingdom upon succession. That's why we are the Yuri drifting the Duchess. That's why we cannot take Wales. But... Uh, I mean, we could take Wales, but it would be very bothersome because we would have to retake it again and again. But with partition, you have uh, your titles equally divided between your children, but there will no no new titles will be created. So high partition would be even better. Primogenitor would be even better. But I think also this one could be really good. Maybe we will try this one later. But for now we will go with Partition. Pass the law. Wow. This is a great step towards the Empire of Britannia. Because now. Now the gloves are off. Now we will conquer Wales. Yeah, for sure. And um, we cannot start because we, you cannot simply declare war. We have to have a casus belli. Okay. Yeah, bellum justum. But the problem is this guy is too old. Too old. You need. You need. To kick the bucket, Aaron Menred. It's time for Edward Aaron Menred's son to increase our power over this land, further our domain, and bring peace to all of Britannia. Take a look at them, they are constantly fighting. Oh my god, Alba has 12,000 troops again. A better contract? You get the Earldom of Worcestershire? Am I interested in the Earldom of Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Ah, yes, I think that's the that's the Worcestershire, right? That's how I pronounce it. From him. I could take away land from him. But I don't know. No, you should pay. I think he's paying high. Uh, he's paying high contribution, right? No, what? Wait. Uh, modify. Yeah. Yeah. He's paying high. Yeah, keep play paying me a lot. Consumption. My poor daughter sent for a physician. No. No. Okay. Apparently, Christina is quite experienced, I guess. Another map. Mm. Well, reduce disease symptoms. Quite nice. Okay! Jan Menred has died. His, his soul has finally been cast to hell at 73 years of age. He died of old age. Although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could still not outsmart death. King 
Edward ascends to Ed Edward ascends to the throne. A suspicious man, Edward's paranoia might not sit well with his subjects. Oof, this paranoia is not good. But anyway, let's continue in the next episode with King Edward the Third's realm.